Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Java for your Minecraft server, for your Minecraft mods, for Minecraft in general. Basically we're going to show you how to get Java for Minecraft. I'm going to be going through every single step of it and I'm even going to show you what to do if you download Java and you still can't open your Minecraft mod or you still can't run your Minecraft server and things like that, right? So Java is the base of Minecraft and we're going to be showing you everything you need to know about getting the correct version of Java. But first we do have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below at the breakdown.xyz slash apex get an incredible 24-hour DOS directly Minecraft server for you and your friends to play on, have fun, and just enjoy playing Minecraft together on. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Java. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the second link down below. And this is actually our article on downloading and installing Java. It goes through everything. The reason it's important to go through this article instead of like going to Java's website and going that way is because we make sure that the most recent and best version for Minecraft is set up here on the website and that's what you're downloading. It does change, right? So as you can see, it does say right here, update 221. That might not be the case anymore. It might change, but that's okay. That's what it's supposed to do. That's why it changes. That's why it's important to go through the website. However, if I do go too fast in the video or anything, you can come here and go through this tutorial. But once you're here, you just want to click on this yellow download button and then it will take you off to here. And then we can go ahead and click on the Java download there and it will go ahead and start the Java download after you agree and start the free download. Now. It is going to download the bottom left in Google Chrome. It's going to pop up in the center of your screen. Most likely you don't need to save the file, but you might, right? You might need to save the file. At this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on my desktop, I do have the javasetup.exe. If it's on your desktop, it's in your downloads folder. So click the Windows icon on the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon in the bottom left. Click on that and then type in downloads, right like so. You have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that and then in here, you will have your Java. Go ahead and drag that to your desktop just for ease of use. Then double click on Java. This installs just like any other program. There's nothing really too complicated about it. Just go ahead and just click on, as you can see, um, I already have Java installed so I can click to remove here, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and click install to go through and basically update it in many ways. But once we click install here, it will take a second and then it should open up our installer to then be able to go ahead and start installing. So as you can see, Java is now installing, getting everything done. And like I said, it's just like any other basically program that you install on your computer. It just click install and it kind of walks you through and does everything itself. Click next, agree to their you and your license agreement, all that stuff. But um, yeah, very, very simple and easy, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this download finish and I will see you after a quick jump cut. So the download just finished there. And then as you can see, it says you have successfully installed Java and all that stuff and we're good to go. So we can go ahead and click close here. Now at this point, you should be able to continue with whatever tutorial you were doing, whether it was, you know, installing a Minecraft mod, starting a Minecraft server, or if you just couldn't get Minecraft to work at all. But if it still doesn't work, right, I'm gonna delete the Java set up from our desktop, we don't need that. If it still doesn't work, you're still having issues, then no worries, we have a solution for you. And it is linked down below and it is the jar fix. So right here it is. This is a very quick, very simple program that fixes all the jar files on your computer and makes them work with Java again. So the first thing is just downloading Java. It's that simple, it's that easy to download Java for Minecraft. If that doesn't work, come here to this, how to use the jar fix to repair your .jar files. And then once you're here, there is a tutorial on it if I go too fast or you need to double check something, but really you're just clicking the yellow download button. When you download it, it'll download in the bottom left of Google Chrome, center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, but then just double click on the jar fix on your desktop. It might be in your downloads folder, might need to drag it to your desktop, but overall, when you double click on it, it instantly works. It says the .jar suffix has been registered successfully. Jar packaged application can be executed again by double click. Jar has added yada, 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 all that stuff. Okay, cool. Guess what? It is now done. So now you have Java TM platform SE binary, which basically means when you right click on something, um, you can click on open with, right? Um, let's see where it's at. It's not on that. I need a jar file for this. One second. So here we have the forged jar file. We can right click on it and click on open with, and then you'll now have this Java TM platform SE binary. And then on top of that, it should have the Java logo on it because you ran the jar fix and made sure everything was good. And so yeah, that's how you can get Java for your Minecraft files, whether it's a mod, whether it's a server, whether it's anything, you can now get Java for it on your computer. It's very, very simple and very, very easy. I just want to make this quick little video because I get questions all the time about this. And while we do have the article here, it is important to have a video and this video will be at the top of this page. So you all will be able to uh, basically check it out and get rocking and rolling with Java on Minecraft. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If this video did help you out, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content about Minecraft and about Minecraft servers and all that stuff. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown and I am out. Peace.